Hey everybody, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, Iron Obi here, and in today's video we're going to be looking at the Faction Rallies. It's coming up really close, up to September 26th, it's going to be showing up at 2am Pacific. You're going to be able to volunteer and start supporting one of the three factions in the games, Dead Orbit, Future War Cult, or uh, New Monarchy. Weekly update, they let us know what's going on, what we're going to see, who's going to be coming to the tower, uh, and it's going to be some familiar old first faces. We have Arak Jahal from Dead Orbit, Lakshmi 2 from Future War Cult, and Executor Hedio of New Monarchy will return to this tower to ask you to pledge your loyalty. But obviously before you can do this you need to have at least reached level 20 and have gained access to the tower and you can only pledge to one faction per character. So originally in Destiny 1 you could eventually kind of swap between people willy-nilly towards the end of the Destiny 1 life, life cycle. It ended up becoming harder. You can only swap per once per week. So I'm probably going to stick with just one this time but the choices will be very difficult. Believe me. Once you have chosen your side, your mission will be able to return to the wild and complete activities in support of your faction. You can do public events, lost sectors, strikes, raids, crucible, and all these activities will be ordered with faction tokens that you turn into full packages of loot. And right here I'm going to show up some of the armors from Dead Orbit, some of the armors from New Monarchy, and some of the ar mo armors from New War uh, Future War Cult and some of their weapons. A lot of these are feel like they could be reskins. Some of them are not full-on brand new armors. There are a couple new things, like the Warlock's uh, New Monarchy Warband looks pretty cool with little scrolls on it. I'm all about the plume. I'm liking the plume on the helmet for the New Monarchy guys. With that Titan, it looks great. I may go for it just for that, but we'll have to see. Black, white, dead orbit. Ah, oh, the color scheme's calling to me, but I like the Future War Cult. They're kind of cool. New Monarchy. Ah. It's, it's, it's such, such a difficult to choose who you want to go. But in addition to get all of this gear on display here, each faction at the end of this event, because this is an event, will be offering a special weapon to be rewarded and sold if they emerge victorious. So basically how this new system is going to work is that depending on who you pledge to, you start earning points, if you will, for that faction throughout, you know, however until this ends on a certain date, which I'll show you at the end of the, I showed a little bit in the end of the video. But you'll basically be able to earn points, and after a while, we'll end the thing, and whoever, whatever faction has the most points will be able to get their weapon at a steep, steep discount. So everyone who pledged to the winning faction will be able to purchase their weapon for a thousand glimmer. Uh, anyone who didn't pledge can still get it, but it's going to cost you about 50,000 glimmer. And with some of the new glimmer stuff, that might be a steep cost for some people, but we'll see. Looking on the screen, we have a Dead Orbit Scout Rifle. Looks amazing. That's almost swaying me to Dead Orbit. But I'm, I'm trying to stay strong for New Monarchy here. The plumes, guys. I'm trying to stay for the plumes. Future War Cult Pulse Rifle. Again, looks really cool. I'm glad it's a Pulse Rifle. And the only thing that's turning me away from New Monarchy, because I'm not a sidearm guy, is the New Monarchy sidearm. I love the paint scheme of New Monarchy, the gold and the red and the black, I think it is super cool, but I'm just not a sidearm guy, we'll see if I can stick it through guys, I'm hoping I can stay strong and stay for New Monarchy, but Dead Orbit, Scout Rifle, mm, it's calling to me, you can earn faction tokens to turn to your faction of all the way up till 2am Pacific on October 3rd, so that's transferring that into your own time zone, but that's not going to be that, that's going to be a little bit over a week, so you only have about a week to compete in this, but I like that this event is coming. They'll declare a winner later that day at 10 a.m. Pacific. Good luck, Guardians, and may the best, best faction win. Now, hopefully this doesn't turn out to be just like the Queen's Wrath event. Unfortunately, the factions don't seem to be bringing any new missions or anything kind of new to really chow down on or really experience. They really are just another reputation vendor, which is kind of bad. I don't want this to just kind of be like the mentality. I don't want us to constantly go like, oh, it's another reputation. Oh, it's another reputation. Tokens. Tokens here, tokens there. Hopefully we'll see some more variety. I like that this is a competition. I like that you have the factions competing with each other and trying to, you know, see what's going on and see and see who can win and who gets bitted the most. But we'll see if it doesn't uh, snowball into one faction, like, say, Dead Orbit with their cool slick colors. We'll see. Moving on through the rest of the Bungie update, we see a little bit about Guided Games. And Bungie talks about how Guided Games have been going for the Nightfall specifically in the last couple days and since the game, well, about a couple days after the game launched. Uh, now, Guided Games for Raids will become available on Tuesday, the September 26th. It's just about a week, and this is going to go into beta, and just wanted to let us know how, we're do how they're doing. So, how have Guided Games been going? This is uh, senior designer Steve Dolan. He's on hand. He's talking about stuff. Steve says, so far, over 100,000 Seekers have been guided through the Nightfall Strike. 
Throughout those games, over 90% of Nightfall attempts have resulted in completion. Even when the activity is hard, Guardians fight it out to the end. You're an amazing community, and we love to hear stories about players meeting their new clan through Guardian Games. Thank you, Steve Dolan. I'm definitely looking forward to getting people into my raid group for Guided Games. We definitely could use the help, and I really do want to get some more people into the clan. So I've been ready and waiting for this feature to show up for the raids. I'm super excited. Nightfall for it was okay, but raids is really where I hope it's going to shine. Uh, and they just go on to talk about what if you don't have mics, you know, how is it going to work in milestones, how do clans get punished. I'm going to go ahead and link the entire Bungie update in the description below so you guys can go look for that and get all the information there. But it's great to see that so many people have already been helped out with Nightfalls, and I'm glad that this is a system. This is a good system. I like that as soon as Bungie introduced this clan system and guided games, I was all on board for Destiny 2. Moving on past that, we do know that we are getting Iron Banner is going to be coming back early in October of next month. I am super excited. I've always been super hyped for the, uh, for the Iron Banners. There's something about the lords and the fur and the snow that's always appealed to me in the way that their armor can kind of look like knight's armor at some point. When Destiny 1 was fir first introduced or, you know, kind of planned or talked about, they always came out as this sort of fantasy sci-fi. It's never really a genre that's really done where we have, like, knights in space and, you know, like, Arthur's Round Table, but if they were in, you know, space or on, different pl on a different planet like Mars... I always found that concept super interesting, and I feel like some of the Destiny 1 content kind of went away from that uh, uh, quite a lot, but I always liked it when Iron Banner came back, because I felt like the weapon and the styles of the weapons and the armors kind of brought back that initial feel of space fantasy sci-fi. So I can't wait for Iron Banner. The only glimpse we've gotten so far of Iron Banner is a hunter wearing the, Titan Ban the Iron Banner armor. It kind of almost looks like samurai segmented like a cuirass or armor. I really do like that. It's got the emblem all over the place. Fur around the, the cape, I think it looks real cool. I, I'm manning a Titan, and I can't wait to see what the Titan armor looks like. Don't let me down, Bungie Design Team. I think you made awesome, awesome Iron Banner armor before, and I can't wait to see what you do that new next. Just try to stay off exclusive Iron Banner armor for certain uh, consoles, please. That would be awesome. Thank you. That's really it for the video here, guys. Again, I'm going to link this uh, pub the, the the Bungie weekly update in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep seeing me come out with some more Destiny content and some other gameplays that I'm going to be showing off. Uh, I'm going to try guiding people through guided games, so I'm going to put my clan in the bottom of the description too. Go ahead and check that out. Come see us. We're great guys. We're always looking for more people to play with. We're primarily on Xbox, but if you're on other consoles, feel free to come and let us know. We'll find ways to help you out. But that's it for the video, guys. Again, leave a like. Tell me if, in the bottom on the comments if you're excited for the factions. Who are you going to side with? Are you hyped for Iron Banner as I am? If you are, please let me know in the comments below. I do want to read that. But thanks again, guys. I know I should keep saying that, but thank you very much. I'll see you, Guardians, on the battlefield.